Hey everybody, my name is David and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church. We're heading into Christmas, right? We're heading into Christmas time. And what was your biggest fear when you were a kid growing up at Christmas time? It's probably, what if I don't get what I want? What if I don't get what I want? What if what I want isn't under the tree? Which is funny because now as adults, our biggest fear is, what do I do when I get what I want? What if I get what I want? What's the number one resolution people have every year? Like, what do you think the number one resolution in America is every year? What'll be the biggest resolution in 2020? Get in shape, right? People wanna get in shape, they wanna lose weight, they wanna feel better about themselves, exercise. And it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not rocket science. You could read all the books in the world, but we know the building blocks. Right? We know the founding principles. There's only two things. Eat less, exercise more. Right? That's, that's, what we, that's what we should do. And we say, you know, I've always wanted to lose 20 pounds. I've always wanted to lose 20 pounds. All right, well, if you've always wanted to do it, then why don't you do it? Well, because we start and then we end up self-sabotaging ourselves. You know, procrastination kicks in and self Medication kicks in. Things like drugs and alcohol and stress and drama and all these kind of things get into our life and they mess us up. And then we just hit the reset button and we just say, well, I'll just, I'll just go back to how life was. I'll be fine with how life was. Do you know why self-sabotage is dangerous? Because it's so very subtle. It's so very subtle. It's just that voice that says, you can have a slice of pie before you go to bed. You can have one more cookie. Hey, it's, you know, it's last call. You can have one more drink, it's fine. And then you, you keep doing those things. You keep allowing those voices into your head and you then dig the hole deeper and deeper. And what you've done is you've built this system that you can't get out of. Now you have a hole that you can't climb out of. And then you give up. Then whatever dream it is that you wanted, you give up and you say, you know what? Maybe next year. You could say, oh, you know what my dream job would be? You know what I would love to do for a living? All right, then, then, then do that. But then self-sabotage kicks in and says, ah, you, you can't do that, right? No one's gonna pick you. Don't improve. Don't step out. Don't change. Just go back to the way things were. That's easier. That's normal. That's expected. You know, Jesus came and in John chapter eight, he says, I am the light of the world. I was thinking about light and what that means, especially now at Christmas time. You know, light means hope. You see light and you think, I can keep going. You see light and it says, it's almost over. You're almost there, right? We need that. We need more light in the world. This December, the theme for Walden Community Church this Christmas is proclaim. We want to proclaim Christmas. And this first week, we're going to proclaim hope. We're going to proclaim hope and say, you know what? Jesus is calling us towards him. He is calling us further on. He is calling us into a closer relationship because he is the light of the world. This Sunday, we've got two opportunities for worship for you. Uh, we have a 9.30 service with our choir and uh, more traditional music. Then we have our 11 o'clock service, which is our contemporary worship. We have a full band and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. We also have a special choir Christmas concert. It's gonna be on December 14th and 15th, Saturday and Sunday. It's the same concert, it's completely identical. And those concerts will be at 6 p.m. Then we'll have two services for Christmas Eve, one at five o'clock and one at seven o'clock. Again, they're both identical. Pick the one that works the best for your family. Hey, and we wanna be your local church. You and yours have a very Merry Christmas this season.